Back here in Indonesia, the People Power Party chair on the verge of losing his post at a press conference for the first time during suspension. Lee Jun Sok harshly criticized a particular group of senior officials for illegitimate actions and for leading the ruling bloc in the wrong direction. Yi kyung has the details. The ruling People Power Party chairman Lee Jun Sok once again criticized what he calls the party's undemocratic procedure to switch to an emergency leadership system, which essentially blocks him from returning to his post. And this time he did it in his first public appearance following his suspension over a sexual bribery allegation in July. It is certainly unfair to nullify the party's own rules just to oust a person and leaves a shameful history in the country's politics. The chairman added that all of this is orchestrated by several PPP lawmakers who claim to be key allies of President Yoon sung yeol to blame the wrong person, him, for the party's dipping approval ratings. They were accelerated by the leakage of the controversial private text message between the full leader and acting chair Kwon Song-dong and the president. He said the president is partially responsible too. If a text between a president and a floor leader sparks controversy, that implies a state of crisis, not just for the party, but also for the president's leadership. He said he will fight those particular senior officials to the end, and he urged them to run for the next general elections in the places where the conservative party does not have a solid supporter base so that they can face a real assessment. In the meantime, he ruled out the previous speculation that he could launch his own party. Instead, he expressed sincere affection for the party he has been holding on to even after the suspension while meeting party members, which brought tears to his eyes. I briefly get into a moment of happiness looking at pictures sent by members signing up for the party, asking me to do the politics they want. He says he will continue meeting party members in the coming days while waiting for the court's decision on the injunction he filed against the party. The PPP is poised to officially launch its emergency leadership by early next week after completing its formation. Young-un, Arirang News.